Well, good morning. Hey, I want to take this time to create a little video about utilizing one of the most underused programs in or on your iOS power device, and that is Apple Notes. So, what's so cool about Apple Notes? Well, for those that are looking for a way to truly organize your life and things you do, whether that's appointments, videos, research, you know, just notes in general and the ease of keeping everything in one place for quick access. And with the most recent updated version of Apple Notes comes the ability of linking notes together. So as you can see here on my left side, I've got several folders created, okay? Now, if you're looking for how to create a new folder at the very bottom left, you'll see one that looks like a folder with a plus icon on it. When you click on that, you can create a new folder. So let's just do that for the sake so you can see how it's done. We'll go ahead and click on that. I'm going to go ahead and give this folder a new name. I'm just going to click on new folder just to make this simple. Now, I don't want to get into making this smart folder or anything like that. I just want the new folder, right? So there we go. And as you can see, it created a new folder for me. So let's go ahead and open up this new folder. And let's say I want to create a new note. So go down to the bottom right side of the notes application. You'll see one looks like a little piece of paper with a pencil icon. Click on that. And we're going to give this a title. We're just going to call this something simple like note one. And I'll hit return a couple of times so I can come down and begin typing something in there. So you can see, go ahead and click on begin taking notes. And let's show you some of the cool things you can do from other applications, right? So as you can see, I also got my YouTube application open here. Let's go ahead and open this up here. Full screen it. And I'll go ahead and get rid of that one just so we can kind of come back. Uh, maybe not. Let's go look her up again here real quick. Tear him. And let's see if we can get some for be able to pull up so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now I don't want to play it or anything, so let me go ahead and stop that. I do want to share it though. So I'm going to click over here and we're going to click on more. It brings up all your options. So I'm going to click on my notes application and it's going to ask where do I want to save that to? So let's go ahead and click on this and let's see what I got. I want to click on new folder and we're going to click on note one. And we'll go ahead and add a little text to that. Something like that. There we go. We'll go ahead and click on save at the top. Right. And we'll go ahead and reduce my YouTube application here. And let's go ahead and go back into my notes. Let's go all the way back here. Done. And let's move that. And let's get back over here to my folders, okay? So remember, I had created a new folder, right? And let's go ahead and click on new folder. So as you can see, it's got it in there. Today, okay? And there's my video. Now, let's say I want to add something in here like from a research or something. Maybe I'm using something from Safari that I found. So let's go ahead and click on close. Let's open up Safari. And I'm just going to do a random search here. Uh, let's see. And since I'm a WordPress designer and developer, I'll just go ahead and type in a search for that. And maybe this one right here is something I want to use, right? We'll let that load up. So I'm going to go ahead up in the top right hand corner of Safari, click on the share icon, and I'm going to click on the notes application. Where do I want to save this note to? So I'm going to come over here and uh, let's do note one. Uh, let's go ahead and do that one. That's where I'm going to put it. Okay. And we'll give this, here is some research. Click save. 
right? And we'll go ahead and close out of Safari. Move. Let's go ahead and reopen the notes application. Let's go ahead and open that. And as you can see, not only do I have the video in there, but I also have the website, right? So as you can see, you can incorporate a lot of things into there. So let's go ahead and uh, slide this over. Uh, maybe let's do a split view. Yeah, we'll do that. And I'll go ahead and open up, say, maybe my photos. And I'm just going to click a uh, random... We'll click on that, and let's grab this temperature one right here. I'm going to grab it. And notice how it's got a little green icon, like it's a plus button. So just release it, and it drops an image in there. So now I've got, let's say, a video, a web link, and an image, right? All in one note. Now, let's say I wanted to share this note because I've got a compiled set of notes, and I'm going to link it, you know, share it with some notes. Let's click on that little share icon right there. And you can either send it by text, email, however you want to share it. So there you go. Now, let's talk about um, linking other notes, right? So as you can see, I got one there. It's called uh, My Notes TOC. So let's come down here. And let's put in My Notes TOC. And I want to be able to link these together let's see if i can get my mirror here i've got a external mouse i'm using here on the ipad so let's go ahead and highlight that and then right click on it i'm going to click on add link right and let's type in my so there's the my notes toc and that's what i want it so i'm gonna click on that right and we'll go ahead and click done now let me show you what the beauty of this is at so click done let's say i've done everything Let's come over here and, and click on the My Note TOC, and it brings up that note that I've linked to it. So as you can see, you can link other notes inside of Notes. You just got to have a naming convention. It makes sense that way when you're searching which note you're wanting to link up, it's right there and ready to go for you. So there you go. That's a kind of a quick down and dirty little uh, illustration of getting more from using Apple Notes on your devices. Let me know how this works out for you. Uh, if you can see any benefits to it or maybe different applications you're using. But I really believe with Apple's next major release uh, with iOS 18, which will be coming later this year, probably about the same time they release their new line of iPhone lineups. Hopefully, the notes application will get an update that will support markdown now right now uh, natively it doesn't support markdown but i really think it will in the future so there you go let me know how this works out for you have a blessed day